okay so good morning students now let's start our history video this is again our history video in the previous video you had seen that that was the history video of the chapter nationalism in europe now we shall continue this video with, uh, with the history subject and the chapter will be same the nationalism in europe is that clear and now in this video we shall start our next topic that is that is the exceptional case of england you can take out you can take out page number uh, you can take out page number 21 22 in your textbooks okay ji the strange case of britain now we shall discuss this topic page number 21 in your textbooks now the beta the topic is the strange case of britain why i am saying so the the strange case of britain because in the previous videos in the previous topics you had seen that that in all of the european countries whether it is france whether it is uh, whether it is france or netherlands or uh, italy germany all of those uh, all of those european countries were uh, were the countries having monarchies which is uh, which is not stable some uh, any times some person is coming other times some person is coming but in the case of england there is monarchy not only monarchy but the constitutional monarchy Uh, i think you all have listened it i you all have studied it in 9th class also that what is constitutional monarchy that when the when the king or queen is just a nominal head and the real head is the prime minister and his council of ministers so that is why we are saying that there is a stable that there is a stable democracy and constitutional monarchy in the in the country known as britain that is why we are saying that there is a strange case of britain so we shall discuss it now that why the case of britain is so strange please see British Isles contained four islands that that England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. देखो बच्चों, I want to tell you one thing that England uh, is a small country, but United Kingdom of England contains four countries. Just listen, uh, listen one once again. The, uh, there are four parts in United Kingdom of England. First one is England. Second is Scotland. Third is Wales, and fourth one is Northern Ireland. these are the four countries these are the four countries that that comprise that make the great britain that makes the great britain or the united kingdom of england whenever whenever you talk about united kingdom of england then you talk about these four countries england scotland wales and northern ireland this united kingdom of england is also known as great britain because england means a small territory of uk but four countries england scotland wales and northern ireland means britain or united kingdom of england now how did this four countries how did this four countries became united uh, or in other words you, uh, how did how did england became great britain the answer is the act of union the act of union 1707 has resulted in the foundation of united kingdom of england please write down a question please write down a question bachcho write a short note on write a short note on the act of union 1707. Write a short note on the Act of Union 1707. Or करके लिखो. Write on or or how how England became how did how did England became United Kingdom of England. How did England became the United Kingdom of England or Great Britain or Great Britain for one marks or three marks. चलो, पीपल नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक बच्चों, द पीपल ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड ट्राई टू गेट इंडिपेंडेंस बट दे वर फेल्ड आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट इंग्लैंड दिस कंट्री इंग्लैंड फोर्सिबली कैप्चर दिस पार्ट दैट इज नोन स्कॉटलैंड एंड नॉर्दर्न आयरलैंड दीज वर यूनाइटेड कंट्रीज these two were united countries england and wales these were these two were united countries but england and wales forcibly occupied scotland and northern ireland the people of scotland tried to got independence tried to got independence that is known as scottish war of independence but that scottish war of independence failed and and that's why scotland also became the part of great britain similarly england and wales england and wales also captured northern ireland and then forcibly northern ireland also became the part of great britain so in this way after the act of union all these four parts were merged together and they they formed a new country known as great britain or the united kingdom of england is that clear students is that clear so the, this is first part the, the, this is second part england and wales next scotland and northern ireland is that clear chalo next
देखो बच्चो आई हैड टोल्ड यू दैट पीपल ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड ट्राई टू गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस बट देवर फेल्ड सिमिलर वॉज द केस ऑफ आयरलैंड ऑल्सो द पीपल ऑफ आयरलैंड ऑल्सो ठीक है ना आयरिश पीपल आयरिश पीपल ओके आयरिश पीपल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू ट्राई टू गेन इंडिपेंडेंस बट बट वर फेल्ड बट वर फेल्ड एंड दैट्स वाई एंड दैट्स वाई आयरलैंड दैट्स वाई आयरलैंड वॉज ऑल्सो फोर्सिबली वॉज ऑल्सो फोर्सिबली मर्ज इन टू द इन टू द United Kingdom of England or or Great Britain, Great Britain, is that clear? So next, now when when Ireland became the when Ireland became the part of uh, United Kingdom of England or Great Britain, then what what did uh, what did it resulted for Ireland? Okay, I will tell. I am rubbing this now. Rubbing this now, and next one we shall see. When Ireland became the part of Great Britain or United Kingdom of England, then this resulted to the this resulted to the Union Jack. Union Jack became the. Union Jack became the flag of Ireland. Ireland also. You all know that. You all know that Union Jack is the is the flag of Great Britain. You all have seen this flag, no? This flag. This flag. This one. This is Union Jack. Okay, so this Union Jack. This Union Jack is the is the flag of Great Britain. Great Britain. Or or United Kingdom of England. I want to tell you that many of the students uh, think that this is the flag of England. No, but this is not the flag of England. This is the flag of United Kingdom of England or Great Britain. If you see, uh, as I have told you that uh, that Great Britain or United Kingdom of England has four countries: England, Wales, uh, uh, Scotland, and uh, Northern Ireland. So this Union Jack, this Union Jack is the is the flag of the complete Great Britain or United Kingdom of England. Is that clear? Is that clear? This Union Jack is the flag of these four United countries. that is great britain or uk if you talk about only england that only england's flag is like this way like this way this one this is this is the flag of only england england okay but but this flag this flag is the is the flag of great britain or united kingdom of england this one this is the flag of only england so this is the difference between great britain and england okay so when when uh, ireland became the ireland became the part of united kingdom of england or great britain then this union jack this union jack also became the flag of ireland also is that clear chalo next and when when union jack became the flag of england the union jack became the flag of ireland then this means that that god save the noble king god save the noble king this became the national anthem of ireland also became the the national anthem of ireland also because now ireland because now ireland has forcibly been merged into great britain or united kingdom of england then this means the 
the national anthem of england has has become the national anthem of ireland also because now ireland is a part of great britain or united kingdom of england that is why is that clear students so in this way in this way this the uh, these four countries unitedly formed a single country that is known as great britain or united kingdom of england but now we are saying that this is the strange case of england strange case case of england because england is the only only european country that has completely settled completely settled and established monarchy system in whole of europe in other countries like france the monarchy is coming or going sometimes monarchy is coming sometimes people government is coming in germany in italy any of the country any of the european country you can say monarchy was not so much was not so much established even people's rule democracy was not so much established but in the case of england monarchy was also established and people's rule was also established that is why it is known as constitutional monarchy that is why england is the constitutional monarchy it has queen also and it has the elected people's government also and that is why we are saying that there is a strange case of england is that clear students chalo next topic next topic you can you can take out please page number page number 23 please take out page number 23 in your textbooks देखो बच्चों नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज योर द विजुअल इज विजुअलाइजिंग द नेशन विजुअलाइजिंग द नेशन आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वन थिंग मोर यू कैन सी दू कैन सी फिगर सेवनटीन फिगर सेवनटीन ऑन राइट साइड दिस फिगर इज अबाउट जर्मेनिया द फिगर इज अबाउट जर्मेनिया नो वॉट इज दिस जर्मेनिया Germania means बच्चों to give a face to give a face to the country like a living being like a living being or human being is that clear just like you we have seen the case of our own Bharat Mata. अब हमने भारत माता का केस देखा हुआ है उसमें हम क्या है भारत माता को एक लेडी के रूप में एक औरत के रूप में रूप में दिखाते हैं और औरत के रूप में उनको एक एक हमने चेहरा दे रखा है वी हैव गिवन अ फेस टू अवर कंट्री लाइक अ लिविंग बीइंग लाइक अ लिविंग लेडी एंड दैट वी कॉल भारत माता सिमिलरली इज द केस ऑफ दिस जर्मेनिया सिमिलरली इज द केस ऑफ दिस जर्मेनिया द पीपल ऑफ जर्मनी ऑल्सो गेव ऑल्सो गेव अ फेस टू देयर जर्मन नेशन टू देयर जर्मन मदरलैंड एंड टू दैट दैट फेस दैट लेडी दैट लिविंग बींग दे हैव कॉल्ड इट जर्मेनिया जैसे हम लोग भारत माता कहते हैं वैसे ही उन्होंने एक चेहरा दे दिया अपने अपने देश को एक एक लेडी के रूप में और उस लेडी का नाम उन्होंने रखा जर्मेनिया यू कैन सी फिगर सेवनटीन नाउ हु हैज ड्रॉन दिस पिक्चर अंडर एंड प्लीज फिलिप वेट बिलो द फिगर यू कैन सी द नेम इज ऑल्सो रिटर्न फिलिप वेट इन एटीन फोर्टी एट ठीक है जी वन मार्क्स के क्वेश्चन लिख लो राइट नोट क्वेश्चन फॉर वन मार्क हु क्रिएटेड जर्मेनिया हु क्रिएटेड जर्मेनिया एंड वेन हु क्रिएटेड जर्मेनिया एंड वेन आंसर इज फिलिप वेट फिलिप वेट एटीन फोर्टी एट आंसर आपके बुक में लिखा हुआ जहां पर फिगर बनी है उसके नीचे फिलिप वेट इन एटीन फोर्टी एट ठीक है जी एक और क्वेश्चन लिख लो हु वॉज जर्मेनिया ऐसे लिखो हु वॉज जर्मेनिया जर्मेनिया कौन है जर्मेनिया क्या बच्चों लिख लो अगर लिखना आंसर द ऐसे लिखो जर्मेनिया इज द इज द डिपिक्शन लिख लो आंसर जर्मेनिया इज द इज द is the depiction depiction of germania is the depiction of german nation of german nation into a living lady or the motherland motherland with the face of with the face of with the face of a human being 
विद द फेस ऑफ ह्यूमन विद एक जीते जागते इंसान के रूप में एक जीते जागते इंसान के रूप में जब अपने देश को उन्होंने दिखाना शुरू कर दिया जिसने के जिसने के जर, जर्मनी का फ्लैग उठा रखा है उसको हम लोग बोल रहे हैं जर्मेनिया पहले यहां तक लिख लो विद द फेस ऑफ ह्यूमन लेडी विद द फेस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग फुल स्टॉप आगे साथ ही लिख लो साथ ही लिख लो आगे लिखो बच्चो दिस लेडी कॉमर्स में लिख लो दिस लेडी होल्ड्स द जर्मन फ्लैग जर्मन फ्लैग एंड अ स्वॉर्ड एंड अ स्वॉर्ड इन हर हैंड इन हर हैंड एज अज अ सिंबल ऑफ पावर एज अ सिंबल ऑफ पावर ठीक है जी इसके एक हाथ में तलवार है और एक हाथ में जर्मनी का झंडा है मतलब और वॉट वॉट डज दिस स्वॉर्ड वॉट डज दिस वॉर्ड रिप्रेजेंट दिस वॉर्ड रिप्रेजेंट पावर सिंबल ऑफ पावर इज अट क्लियर के जर्मन की जो जर्मन मदरलैंड है दैट इज नॉट पावरलेस बट शी इज पावरफुल दैट्स वाई शी इज होल्डिंग अ जर्मन फ्लैग ऑल्सो शी इज होल्डिंग अ स्वॉर्ड दैट मीन्स शी इज नॉट पावरलेस शी इज पावरफुल दैट इज नोन एज जर्मेनिया इज दट क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स बिल्कुल आप भारत माता की तरह समझ सकते हैं सेम टू सेम केस ऑफ इंडिया सो बेटा दिस वॉज दिस वॉज टूडेज वीडियो दिस वॉज टूडेज शॉर्ट वीडियो अबाउट अबाउट द टॉपिक्स वी हेड टू टॉपिक्स वी हेड डिस्कस दैट इज द Uh, that is the strange case of England and visualizing the nation. Visualizing the nation means to uh, to make the country in such uh, to make the country uh, in such a way that it is not less than any living being. So that's why the people of the writers, the people, the painters, okay, the poets, they gave the face, they gave a human face to the country, and that is known as Germania. Same in the case of same in the case of Bharat Mata also. So that was that was the visualizing of the nation. So. Yes, please uh, revise the topics. ठीक है, revise the topic, learn the question answers, write down the question answers in your textbooks, and write down one more question. एक और क्वेश्चन मैं लिखवाना चाहता था. Please write down one more question. Write a short note on. Write a short note on. Gisipe Masini. Write a short note on Gisipe Masini. आपको याद होगा in the previous topic we had discussed about Gisipe Masini, the freedom fighter of uh, or the revolutionary of Italy. ठीक है जी तो राइट ए शॉर्ट नोट ऑन गिस पे मैजनी सो दिस वॉज अवर टूडेज वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी शेल डिस्कस अबाउट द द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट इज नेशनलिज्म एंड इंपीरियलिज्म दैट इज ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ठीक है बच्चों सो थैंक यू सो मच टूडेज वीडियो इज ओवर थैंक यू सो मच